The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, we return now to our catechesis on the family by reflecting on the situation of our brothers and sisters who have divorced and entered a second union. Though their unions are contrary to the sacrament of marriage, the Church, as a mother, seeks the good and salvation of all her children. As these situations especially affect children, we are aware of a greater urgency to foster a true welcome for these families in our communities. For how can we encourage these parents to raise their children in the Christian life, to give them an example of Christian faith, if we keep them at arm's length. I am especially grateful for the many pastors, guided by my predecessors, who have worked diligently to let these families know that they are still part of the Church. There are no easy solutions for these situations, but we can and must encourage these families to participate in the Church's life through prayer, listening to the Word of God, the Christian education of their children, and service to the poor. As the Good Shepherd gives his life for the sheep, so the Church, as a mother, gives her life for all her children by being always the house of the Father with doors wide open. May everyone, especially Christian families, imitate the Good Shepherd who knows all his sheep and excludes no one from his infinite merciful love. The Holy Father will now greet the English-speaking pilgrims in Italian. Saluto cordialmente i pellegrini di lingua inglese presenti a questa udienza, specialmente quelli provenienti da Inghilterra, Sudafrica, Cina e Stati Uniti. Il vostro soggiorno nella città eterna vi confermi nell'amore di Cristo ed egli ci faccia i suoi testimoni specialmente per le famiglie che si sentono lontane dalla Chiesa. Dio vi benedica tutti. I offer an affectionate greeting to all the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims present at today's audience, including those from England, South Africa, China, and the United States. May your stay in the Eternal City confirm you in love for our Lord, and may he make you his witnesses, especially to families who feel separated from the Church. May God bless you all. Dominus Obiscum, et con spirito tuo, sin nomen Domini Benedictum, et so con quedusque in Aiutere il nostro in nomine Domini. Qui feci il cielo e terra. Benedica il vostro omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Santo. Amen. Ah. Ah.